A zero knowledge protocol means that basically we build a mathematical proof um, that demonstrates a statement um, but without giving you any other information about the statement itself. Um, so it's, it's a very interesting construct. It, it, it originated in, in 1989 um, and, um, and it has quite, you know, has big impact in cryptography. So basically what, what people showed at that time is that you can tell any mathematical statement and do any mathematical proof without, without sharing basically the step of the proof. Uh, uh, that could that could be information that you don't want to share with the person. The experiment uh, showed uh, that indeed, when we when we compare two similar objects, uh, we show that they are similar, but without learning what they are. Yeah, we used this uh, vials in our experiment to record the number of neutrons um, that come out of the other side of the object that we are irradiating. Um, they are very fascinating uh, detectors. They are completely analog, um, no electronics. Um, and they are basically emulsions of tiny little droplets of superheated um, fluids, like the uh, fluorocarbon that you find in your refrigerator. Um, and um, when uh, neutrons interact with these small droplets, if it brings it enough energy, um, it will vaporize it and turn it into uh, stable uh, bubbles. Um, the very interesting things with this also is that we solve another problem um, that we can run across into uh, arms control agreements, which is how can we trust electronics, hardware and software? And here we made our life a little bit harder, but we're trying to prove a point is that we can make those measurements without software and hardware that usually are very hard to authenticate and certify. Um, we use the cubes in our experiments um, to create uh, different patterns. Um, they are made of different materials, so here I have uh, some steel and some aluminum. And uh, when we irrigate those cubes with neutrons, depending on the materials, we, can, we get different opacity uh, we measure different opacity um, to neutrons on the other side with those detectors. Um, the advantage is that it doesn't look like anything like a nuclear weapon, obviously, um, and it allows us to, to test our system and, and to show that indeed um, we can uh, create ob objects of certain patterns um, and if we try to compare two patterns that are identical, we can prove that they are identical without revealing what the pattern is.